Hi there, I'm Taylor Trainer with Jen Loves Pets, and today Wish and I are going to be demonstrating some more work with the muzzle. Uh, this is after they've already been introduced to it, and they've already made a pretty positive association with the muzzle. We're going to do more work now on having them put their muzzle on, right? So uh, again, we're not going to bribe them, we're not going to force them to put their face in any further than they're already doing. So if your dog is putting their whole, sn whole snout into the muzzle, then you're ready for this step. Hey, Bubby, what do you think? So we're going to have the muzzle nice and open. I've got my clicker in my other hand. I'm just going to pop it right here. What do you think? And her click point is putting her nose in the muzzle. Not sure that's the best angle. Let me go ahead and see if we can get a better one. I don't know if we can. Oh, okay. We might just have to pop it out this way. See if that works. All right. Oops. Scratch her out. What do you think of this? Girl. So again, I'm not forcing her in. She's entirely choosing to go in, and then I'm giving her the treat from the muzzle, right? Good girl. You think of this? You're a good girl. A lot of times she barely put her snout in, and she has been putting it in much further. So I'm going to wait her out a little bit, see if she's willing to get, do a little bit more. What do you think, baby? Thinks I've changed the criteria on her. Almost. That's a very good chin rest. That's not what I'm asking for, though. Let me try again. There's my girl. Much better. Much better. And when they're pushing their nose all the way through, I feed the treat like this through the holes that are literally built there so that you can give your dog treats while they're wearing their muzzle. Right? Let's see if she'll do it again. So nothing else that she does is going to get much from me. I can tell her that she's good. Um, I can even give her some pets if she seems a little overwhelmed or more interested in something else. But she's not going to get a click except when she's putting her snout in here on purpose. What do you think? Almost. That was, that was just a little crooked. Oops. Hi. Can you do this for real? Girl, is there somebody out there? So, again, she's distracted because there's somebody making noise. There you go. So, I can reward her and help her stay calm because, again, the muzzles should always be calm, right? There's never a bad time when it comes to muzzles. Oh, baby, we like muzzle. What do you think? What do you think of this thing? Yeah, we're avoiding the muzzle. So in this situation, we can take a step back and just go back to any time she interacts with the muzzle, she will get rewarded. What do you think, baby? Is that okay? Good girl. So my click point is just her interacting with it at all. Good girl. Nice job, buddy. Good girl. She put her nose in even further than she needed to for that treat. Good girl. That's why she got a click. Good. And once she hears the click, she's allowed to pop her nose out, but I'm choosing to give her the treat in the muzzle. I'll only do that for a few of them, and then I take a treat, and I toss it away. I do not want her to overwhelm herself with her muzzle. And then she chose to come right back and shove her whole face in there. Good girl. Nice job. I'm going to do one more in here, and then the next one I'm going to toss away. You want another cookie? Not quite. You're a good girl. So I'm just staring at the muzzle. It's a pretty cool thing. Good girl. And then I toss this treat away. Nice job, Bubby. And you can see she immediately came and shoved her snout all the way into the muzzle. So again, I'm going to put the treat through that basket hole and give it to her that way. Good girl. And she chose to keep her snout in there. 
So again, I'm gonna feed her the treat in there. Good girl. Good job. Nice job, Wish. You're a good girl. You wanna do one more? You can do one more and then I'll toss your treat away. Good girl, look in your muzzle. Okay, I'll put it down. There you go. And you can see she feels a little bit more in control when I have the muzzle down. So that's probably the main reason that she was struggling to do it in my lap. So that's just something that I need to notice about her and pay attention to what she needs. So I can hold the muzzle, but keep it on the floor so that she is in more control of the situation. Good girl. I'm gonna have to get on the floor to make this work though. Good job, Lish. Nice job. See, she immediately shoves her whole nose in there. She gets a cookie. And she's looking up at me, but I'm looking down at the muzzle. All my attention is on this thing. What do you think? Good girl. Look at her choosing to keep her snout in there. Nice job. Okay. Can we do one more and then I'll toss the treat away? I know you're tired. You're a good girl. Can we get one more out of you? Can we get one more? Just one? Thank you, good girl. And so you can see she's maintaining position, keeping her snout in there because she's been getting treats in there, which makes it much easier for her to want to spend time with her face in the muzzle. Such a good girl. So good. And now I'm going to follow it up with play. So that's obviously something she really enjoys and something she probably wants to do. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and pull out a toy for her. What is that? What is that? Is that a fun game? Okay, she would rather kiss this. So whatever is gonna be most reinforcing to your dog is what you're going to give them. So, nice, calm, pets, tell her she's amazing. The muzzle can remain in the environment. We just don't have to put so much pressure on the fact that it's there. You're a sweet girl. You're a very sweet girl. You're doing so good. Yeah, good job. Good girl. And keep your muzzle sessions short. 